Well, hello and welcome to what amounts to football heaven. It doesn't get a whole lot better than this. The conditions are utopian. The sky is blue and the players are with us for a football match so widely and keenly anticipated. Truly, this is pristine and the uh, level of expectation and excitement is reflected in the smiling faces of the crowd. They know it means so much and they also experience between them a great sense of privilege at uh, being able to attend this most special of games. This one of the great amphitheatres of the game. You are welcome to it and indeed to one of the grandest fixtures. It appears to be a 4-4-2 formation, Jim. Reminders of a, a golden era in English football. I should add, and it continues to hold its place in the modern game. Playing a second striker runs the risk of being outnumbered in midfield, of course, so with the wider pairing and fullbacks, plenty of running has to be part of their play. And of course, the right service into the box. The action has already started. And the counter is on. Good challenge, he just stood firm. He is not one readily to admit defeat. Don't be surprised if he tries that again. Oh, good interception. Forward it goes. Ahmad Groshny seem happy to let their strikers roam out wide. I wouldn't want that. No? No, well, my worry is that their, their main threat is being shifted out of contention. Hoists it forward. Oh, that's a foul. Free kick's been given. Tries to get it forward quickly. Gets good distance on it. Played out to the right. Crosses it in low. That's good defending, very good defending. I've managed to get it away. Can he get the shot away? Turns and goes back. He's had a shot. A collective sigh of relief from the defense. Defending of the desperate variety. Out to the left it goes. Juba, great strength, too strong for his opponent. More than uh, looks a foul. Yep, referee's given it. Sticks in a foot to win it back. 
Finds himself eased off the ball. Tried to play it through. Uh, was too timid to make it through the defence. It'll be noted and, and improved upon, I'm sure. He's gone for it! Goal! Zenit St. Petersburg! Lovely goal. Perfect poise to set himself for the strike. The goal scorer for Zenit St. Petersburg. After 38 minutes, is number 22. A 1-0 lead established. Well, just listen to the reaction. I think you can hear the approval from the support all around the stadium. Rakitsky. The breakthrough came in the final moments of the first period, and the score is 1-0. Keeper's ball. There is the half-time whistle. Well, there we are. Off they go for half-time. The breakthrough did indeed come in the first half, but there has only been that one goal. It is very, very tight. Here we go again, then. Zenit St. Petersburg really need to go and, and grab another goal now, Peter, if they're going to go on and secure this. Juba dinks one in. He's there to receive it. Shapes to shoot. He scores. And there's the goal they've been looking for. Zenit St. Petersburg are really pouncing on any stray passes in midfield. We're talking seconds from interception to the back of the net. It's counter attacking heaven. His second of the game, and an eye now for the hat trick. So now we're going to get those changes we have been expecting. Things starting to look very comfortable. Well, that second goal has given them so much more command and confidence now, and they should be able to take it on from here and either add to their lead or, or close it out. Surely they'll manage one or the other. Loses his balance and loses the ball. Ball's out on the left now. Lovely bit of skill. Well, the crowd clearly like what they just saw. Some real no-nonsense defending. Hooks through there. He's got options out wide. Going through. Can't get the better of his opposite number. Yeah, that's top defending and preventing him turning, which can open up many possibilities. This defence just doesn't trust itself to, to play a higher line. Frighten the people getting in behind. Yeah, absolutely. It just opens up the opportunity of not only strikers getting behind, but... The runners from midfield too. It's come through. Hits one. Danger averted for now. And it's played forward. Well, that's where he wants it.
Promising move that. Good inroads into enemy territory, but no joy. That's the sort of defending that is going to upset the opposition. It already has, actually. Yeah, and the fact that he's registered, Peter, simply encourages more attention of, um, of a, a closer nature. And out to safety. Zenit St. Petersburg, get it back again. Ahead by two and just about into the home straight. That's just very well played. He can't hurt you with his back to goal, and he didn't go for the back heel. Ah! Rakitsky is the guilty party there. Once more, timely intervention. A really good feat. Whistle's gone, and they've got themselves a free kick. Tempers are flaring. The referee really needs to get a grip again. And time is up. Zenit St. Petersburg can be very happy with a job well done. An efficient win for which the players simply did enough. How would you summarise what we've seen today then, Jim? Zenit St. Petersburg.